guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the home base of Rady's Rides because guess what? We have more hot hatch action coming from Toyota. Something special with the GR Corolla. So what we're looking at is not only the introduction of the GR Corolla for 2023, but they're going to bring another special edition. This one is called the Marizo edition. I have all the details. I'm going to explain what's going on. Without further ado, let's dive into this 2023 Toyota GR Corolla Marizo edition. All right, guys, there it is. The GR Corolla Marizo edition. Now, you might be looking at that and saying, well, Joe, haven't you already brought us this GR Corolla in all of its forms? No. But... This being the day of the virtual unveil, we are also going to be bringing you this vehicle live in the flesh. So stay tuned for that a little bit later today. But let's talk about what's going on here. Obviously, the hot hatch of a Corolla is coming stateside with that power plant from the GR Yaris. Now, we've already brought to you the core edition, which is going to be your entryway into the new GR Corolla. We also showcased the Circuit Edition. This one is actually on top above the Circuit Edition. Now, Marizo Edition, what, what does that mean? Akio Toyota is a true enthusiast. And when I say he's a true enthusiast, which he is the president of Toyota, he loves to race himself. He loves to build that passion he loves getting behind the wheel and he definitely enjoys going on throttle. To do this successfully without everybody knowing that he is at the racetrack in a car racing on the track, he actually came up with a nickname called Marizo. And that has been really the uh, emphasis and the foundation of what this vehicle represents. So the GR Corolla if you don't know, has a 1.6 liter turbocharged inline three cylinder, not an inline four, three cylinder putting out 300 horsepower with all wheel drive. Now you'll notice that on the Marizo edition, you are gonna see some similarities to the circuit edition. You're gonna get that bulge hood, functional bulge hood with those heat extractors on it. You're getting the forged carbon fiber roof which is gonna shed about eight pounds of weight from the top of the vehicle that's gonna lower the center of gravity. Now with the Marizo Edition, you're getting a little bit different brake setup. You're also gonna be getting 18 inch forged aluminum wheels, nice multi-spoke wheel. And then they went through the vehicle and gave it a little bit of a diet. There's actually more spot welds to stiffen up the chassis. They also developed a couple uh, braces, a strut tower brace for the front and for the rear to help stiffen it up, but they also got the weight down to 3,186 pounds. So that's over 200 pounds of weight shed from the core edition. What are some of the ways that they did it? First of all, it does not have the circuit edition larger wing. It does have the hood with that bulge there and the heat extractors, but no rear bigger wing that's going to help cut down on some of the weight. It does have a wing extension from the core, but to try to save weight, they went with the smaller one. It has no rear wiper, so no wiper on the rear glass. That means that's something that I don't have to zonk because it's not even there. What it also has no rear seat. So it's not only a seat delete, but also they got rid of even the rear speakers and the rear window regulators because if nobody's sitting in the back seat, because there isn't a back seat to sit there, there's no reason to have the switch gear to raise and lower the rear glass from the back seat. Now, obviously you could raise and lower it from the driver's seat, but there's no reason to have that in the back seat area. So they're cutting down the weight. This truly is for that person that wants the hot hatch 
at its purest form from Toyota. So, like I said, three trims are going to be building just 200 of these Marizo editions. And remember, it's all to honor Akio Toyota, the president of Toyota Worldwide. Now, no rear seat delete. You got the no rear speakers, those forged wheels. This is getting, now on the forged wheels, part of the bigger piece of the puzzle here is you're getting those super sticky Michelin Cup 2 tires. So those Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires from Michelin, great amount of stick. You're getting special shocks. They did 349 spot welds extra on top of the core trim. So all of those extra welds are going to stiffen this vehicle up to handle like none other before it. Wait until you see the inside, which we do have some of the footage we were able to get from Toyota. You're going to get full microfiber ultra suede material, special seats for the front, obviously. Even the shifter, they went through the transmission, gave it a shorter throw shifter. You can see the amazing brakes there. Nice large calipers with the Gazoo. Remember, Gazoo Racing is what handles the motorsports arm of Toyota. So that's going to handle the WRC effort, the 24-hour Le Mans, all their sports car stuff. There's that forged carbon fiber roof. So really, really nice. Instead of just having regular carbon fiber like on my Subaru WRX STI Type RA, this is forged and it's a flat carbon fiber. There's no actual shine to it. Still loving the back of this car. I can't wait to go on throttle so that we could hear that exhaust. The two on the outside and then that one in the center. It's going to be interesting to see how this car competes with the new 11 Gen Type R coming out. That's really going to be fascinating. Another thing that's going to help this vehicle accelerate is you're actually getting a little bit more torque. So it's not just you're getting some aesthetic stuff, some stuff to cut weight. You're also getting 20 more pound feet of torque. So like I said, all the GR Corollas, Core, Circuit, and this Marizo edition are all getting 300 horsepower. This one though has 200 and 95 pound-feet of torque, whereas your core and your circuit has 275 pound-feet of torque. Peak torque comes in at 3,200 RPM and pulls to 4,600. So you have that nice, meaty bunch of torque between 3,200 and 4,600. Of course, you're going to have the IMT, which is that intelligent manual transmission, which is automatic rev match downshifting, which you could do yourself if you want to shut it off and do your own heel toe downshifting. Plus, I think another thing that a lot of people aren't giving credit to this car is the shorter ratios for the diffs. Remember, you have a front limited slip diff, rear limited slip diff. If they put shorter ratios, this thing is going to accelerate harder and faster than your standard GR Corolla. And then you're getting the same Awesome style, of course, with the GR4 all-wheel drive system, you have that ability to send power front and rear, all by the switch of a knob. You have, of course, the vented roof, excuse me, the vented hood. You have that rear diffuser area. Nice, everything's functional, which is great, especially at the front end of the business, which they did enlarge some of the air intakes on the front grill and nose area to bring even more air into this vehicle. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how this competes against the WRX. Is this the greatest hot hatch to buy right now? I mean, that's going to be the big thing. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, when will I be able to buy it? They're saying by late fall, these will be trickling into Toyota dealerships. Remember, they're only building total about 2,000 of them. And this one is going to be only 200 of those 2,000. So it's not like 2,000 plus 200. It's 2,000. Now you're going to minus 200 of those because those are going to be Marizo editions. But every angle of this thing looks very purposeful. You got the functional side fender vents, the nice flared fender. Look at the interior. Those seats are absolutely drop dead gorgeous. They look like Recaro's the GR embroidery, the bolstering, 
the leather, the Alcantara material. You got Alcantara microfiber suede material on the mechanical e-brake, also on the shift boot and the steering wheel. So you're getting a lot of nice touches, the stitching, all those things to give you a driving environment that you're gonna wanna be in day in and day out, whether you're going to work, whether you're going to school, or of course the racetrack or the autocross track. Special shift knob, Alcantara, love the anodized red coloring that they did. It's gonna be great to be able to see this in person. And like I said, later today, we're gonna to have it for you here on Rady's Rides, but you got your different mode selector knobs, switches, the ability to turn on and off the intelligent manual transmission uh, control for that automatic rev match downshift. Even the way they did the silver, I'm liking that more so than just gloss black. And there's the rear seat delete. You can actually see the rear strut brace in the back and there's no back seat. This is something that I wish the Type RA, the S209, even the Type RLE, they didn't do a rear seat delete. So it shows where Toyota wants to be with this GR Corolla because when Akio drove it originally and it had the GR Yaris engine exactly the same amount of horsepower, he was a little let down and he told the engineers to push for a little bit more and guess what? They did it and they did it in a very big way. So let me know what you think about this particular hot hatch. Is it gonna be the one to buy? If you can find one and what, what is gonna be the price? That's the other million dollar question, but lighter, faster, stronger chassis, seems like a win-win-win situation. But of course, at the end of the day, we'll see how many Twinkies we could get in that back seat area since there isn't a back seat. But until we do that, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Definitely want to give a huge shout out to Lori getting it done no matter what is on her plate she is able to get this studio looking good looking fresh just for you guys so show her some love in that comment section and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride